hello everyone so today we are going to work on this uh, option type which allows us to uh, cycle through different options we have so here we have this display one and display two as options and we can cycle through using these buttons and also similarly this uh, display mode this suggest uh, example values that i have put so here i have only one widget and that widget is used to show all these different kinds of options that we have so yeah that's what we are going to work on today we are going to create this cycle button that uses a common rotator widget and extend the functionality based on the common rotator widget available with common UI plugin so yeah let's see how to implement this today initially we will work on how to get this text part only and after that we will look work on how to get this uh, pips that shows which option is currently selected and highlighted here like this now before we get started let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects i have done in my channel from my patreon page once you become a member you will be able to access everything without any limit and also here is the full playlist of this series feel free to check it out everything is explained from scratch all right now let's get back to the today's tutorial all right so i think it would be better if i create a subfolder here for sub widgets like smaller widgets that i want to create in this project and i'll move this menu button also here because that's not a main panel or a page in the menu system that i want to have okay now here i'm gonna create a new user interface widget blueprint and let's use the type this common rotator select I'll call it WBP option rotator and open it and so this is the this rotator by default you have already you it shows two errors so that's because we need a text component here a common text component that shows the value of the option whatever the string text value of the option so we need to add a text common text here so yeah this is the type of widget that you need to use if you want to cycle through a list of options just like you have seen in any uh, option graphic options like you can select low medium high that kind of settings okay so first of all i'll add an overlay to this and select the this root element and i'll choose the style button style main menu and underneath the overlay i'll add a common text and i'll name this my text it a variable now if I compile, that error is gone. You can see the binding is, widget is bound. Okay, now I'll, this is where, whatever the option value will appear, I'll center this. So we don't need anything else for now, but I plan to add this pips that shows which option is currently selected as well so i'll choose the style common text style main menu text okay now i don't need to do anything else here so now i'm gonna create another widget widget blueprint here I didn't need to use any command type. I'll just use the this user widget. WBP. I'll call it 
option cycle so this is going to be the actual cycle button with uh, left button and right button to go through the next option or previous options okay now here I'll add a horizontal box and then we need a text for the option name so moment text I'll call it what should I call it PT oh, should be a variable too because we need to change this option name oh sorry I should have used that name here not in the horizontal box it doesn't have to be a variable too okay let's enter this uh, actually okay and then let's add a button menu button we should just have this icon Fire space here okay and in the middle I will add this uh, rotator option rotator here and next to that another menu button this should be like this okay so now this option should be should appear over here now that i think this should be centered it doesn't match here uh, let's look into that but before that let me add a spacer between this option name and the these buttons and fill it so we can push these options here like this and also is there a way to center this i don't want to go to the button definition and in the design set it to center here because i'm using the same button in the menu as well let me show you quickly so here so here i want them to be right left aligned but maybe let's add some way to override this if we need it so slot as overlay slot horizontal alignment horizontal alignment yeah and more this to variable i'll call this all right horizontal alignment by default i'll make it left aligned let's make this instance editable now here i should have the option yeah all right horizontal alignment yeah now i can set this easily nice okay now it looks nice so let's also wrap this with a common border common border and i'll i don't need any padding as of now and i'll choose the style that we have already created border style background like this okay oh we forgot about this text style all right okay now how do we set the option values here so for that 
we have the option rotator we can call populate text labels now i'll promote this to a variable let's call it um, options array and i'll make this instance editable now and after that also we need to set set select cut item here we need to pass the index to i want this to variable default select cut index let's make this also instance editable by default we will have zero so now here we don't see anything yet that's because we didn't add any values to this so let's set low Medium by epic enigmatic compile. Now if I go here, now I see law. That's because I have this options array initialized, and also I have set this default value to zero. If I make it one, I should see media. See media. Okay. So I'll set to three. No, yeah, three. So we will see a peak by default. And also, we need a way to set this name of the option as well. So option name. The text. Promote this to a variable. Let's call it text option. I'll just call it option name. Okay, and let's set this to instance editable so we can use any value when we use this. So now let's put this cycle widget into some menu that we have created. Maybe into this options panel and see how it looks. This is a common border here. Let's add a vertical box. Okay. And then Let's add a cycle. Option cycle. Okay. So, what should I call this? Maybe overall graphics or oh, overall quality. Or just our uh, and if I duplicate this, we can have something like if you want to see how this how to have different values, let me just add two values enable disable. Selected value zero. Now see, we have enabled and disabled. So we see this uh, not aligning properly. Maybe we should define minimum length.
properly aligned and change the name to something else we sync yeah okay now so if i play i don't think this would work this wouldn't work because we didn't set up the buttons yet settings go to whatever the settings because it's the same panel we are using as of now so you see epic and enabled but these ones are not working yet so now let's see how to actually implement those buttons okay so for that let's go back to our option cycle widget and then let's call this db preview because previous cb because common button next okay now on clicked now we have the option rotator uh, shift text left and similarly next button if text right okay compile now let's see there is video see we can change values now medium high and enable disable enable disable okay so it's working and that's all i want to work on this episode next time let's work on how to add this pips bar i don't know what to call it so i'm gonna call it pip bar so which shows how many options there are and highlights the option that we have selected currently so like this and yeah that's what we are going to work on next time and thanks for watching as always, updated project files will be available for download here in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments. See you in another episode. Goodbye.